Oh, good job, Cooper. The parents of these kids hit the childcare jackpot at a time when spots are at a premium. Beautiful. We have 35,000 spaces, but we only have 16,000 kids in those spaces currently. Why? Because we don't have the human resources to fill those spaces. Could I maybe put this one over here? The national program for $10 a day childcare includes big expansion plans, another 250,000 spots. So the workforce is key. It's the linchpin of making that happen. I'm making a rainbow pancake. Ottawa estimates the program will require an additional 40,000 early childhood educators across the country. But where will they come from? Entire centres have closed down temporarily because they can't staff up. Oh, very nice. And the possibility of, of you know, creating more, of expanding more childcare spaces, that's just not going to happen. Um, until we deal with the, the workforce crisis. Can I help you? Can I bring it closer to you? Ontario is already projecting that it will fall some 8,000 early childhood educators short of its target. Oh, Jackson, your turn. Unless something changes to make the job more appealing. A similar story in British Columbia. For every centre that opens, you know, centres are either closing or having to reshuffle because they're losing educators. They have to come from somewhere else. Ottawa and the provinces are floating ideas to recruit new childcare workers. People involved in the sector say the far bigger problem is keeping staff on. The worst I've ever seen it with retention. I have never seen this type of crisis of folks leaving. I don't see the future of me continuing in the field. Why not? Just the working hours, the pay. It's really devastating that we are paying below what we are supposed to be paid and for the work that we actually do for the community and the children. Childcare workers say Ottawa and the provinces need to increase wage subsidies or face an even greater staffing crunch. Mike Crawley, CBC News, Toronto.